Gary, let's go through what we saw on the market today. We were up slightly in line with what we're seeing on international markets. Yes. But perhaps some positivity around that GDP number coming in slightly better than expect, expected, although we are still contracting. Yes, we are still contracting. But, um, and I think also that those figures also showed that on the value-added side of, um, of the economy that that's where the contraction has been. In other words, the producers aren't able to pass on the costs to the to the retailers and ultimately to the consumers. So um, <clears throat> that's been a bit of a problem there. I think it, that'll impact on the likes of the Fischinis and well, True Wits. is out for, with yeah. results tomorrow. What are yeah, you expecting on that front? We heard from the technical analysis yeah. <laughs> that it's looking topish and some concern there from Judy Pariachi. I think also, look, again, in the longer term, yes, one should be buying those kind of shares on the dips. But I do feel that this market has run a little bit ahead of itself, that the these valuations are a bit high for the fundamentals at hand at the moment. Exara and Grindrod will be coming out mm. with results on Thursday. Yes. Anything particular on that front that you'll be looking for? No, I think a lot of it has been already in the market as well. People are expecting, I suppose, you know, um, slightly dismal results from Grindrod, I'm sure. From Exara's side, um, again, buying on the dips, yes. Your overall strategy in this market environment, still much debate as to where we are and whether we're going to see that pullback or yeah. we're going to continue to higher levels from here. See, the dilemma is where to put your money. And interest rates being so as low as they are, bonds not looking great, the property market's still quite volatile and a bit scary. And the one place where you can see what your, what your asset is worth is on the equity markets. So I think people will still be buying now for the longer term view rather than um, sort of shying Holding away Holding their the money markets. in cash or on the sidelines. Are we seeing a lot of that money that was sitting on the sidelines returning to the market? Yes, and I think it's a bit more on the trading side rather than the long-term investment side at this point, but um, certainly people are looking to buy into those big dips that come through. What are you favouring in terms of sectors mm. in the current environment? We still favour the telecommunications sector. We still like... Um, just, just more defensive shares along the lines of the Tiger brands, Astral Foods, um, more or less the, the pharmaceuticals, Aspen. Um, we're also saying to be at weight in, the, in your commodities like Anglos and Billitons, the Xaras and Kumbas, yes. Telecommunications, elaborate on the stocks that you're looking for value in, <coughs> in that territory. Yeah. Allied Technologies is one. We still do favour Roynet because of the high dividend yield. Um, Certainly MTN at these levels, if it dips a little bit below 120, great opportunity to buy. Vodacom is a nice steady one with possibly a good deal there as well. And then we're also looking at longer term, the, the Richemonts and the Raynets and, and also um, for recovery in, in Liberty International. Any other results focus as we move into a heavy earnings season on the South African front? I'm looking at the gold shares, of course, to see if they're going to come out with better earnings now. And, Are um, you bullish on gold shares in particular? I think in the longer term, yes, I am. I think that um, with all the turmoil in the world markets and also in the currencies and the forecast inflation rates that will come through eventually, one must not rule gold out. When we look at the gold price at $937 an ounce, it has found a relatively sturdy base, at least above that, that $920 sure. an ounce level. Yes. What are your forecasts on gold going forward? I mean, that must be linked to your longer term view on gold stocks. I think we're still building up for a, an, another attack on the $1,000 level in due course and possibly up to $1,200, $1,300.